It's no doubt that our life will indeed be difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. There are times where we'll argue, times where we'll cry, and times where we'll be frustrated. And I can't promise you that I'll know where I put the remote five seconds after using it. Laugh at every single one of your fire memes. Stay quiet for five hours straight while you're playing World of Warcraft. Know all the words to say when you're having a bad day. Cook a decent steak. Stop taking expensive trips to Walt Disney World and go a single day without having some sort of anxiety attack. However, I can promise to love you through it all, the good, the bad, and the downright crazy. On our very first date, you asked me a question that I'll never forget. You looked at me and out of the blue asked if you could ever see myself being happy with you. I had no idea what to say, but the words will always be stuck with me. Well, here we are, two years later, exchanging vows, and I can honestly say, wholeheartedly, with ever, every fiber of my being, that I can definitely see myself being happy with you, now and forever. People always say that when they met the person they fell in love with, that they could have never imagined on that day where life would lead them. For me, that wasn't the case. Sure, I didn't know I'd be in Townville, South Carolina, or that we'd end up running a bakery together or raising two children that other people call dogs. <laughs> but I knew one thing for certain. Wherever you were, that's where I was going to be. I knew that no one had ever made me feel as comfortable as I did that day and that I didn't ever want to let that feeling go. So here we are, two years later, I'm still falling more in love with you every single day. Brandy, I vow to be your peace, to be your friend, to be your home, and to be your lover. I vow every day to be a better husband than I was yesterday, to be quick to forgiveness and slow to anger. But above all, Brandy, I vow to be right here, next to you through it all, through darkness and light, through kids and grandkids, and smiles and tears and moves and whatever life has in store for us. I'll be right here because you are my person. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow as a sign of my vow to love to love honor honor and cherish you and cherish you to be your faithful to be your faithful and loving wife and loving wife as God is my witness as God is my witness I give you this ring I give you this ring as a sign of my vow as a sign of my vow to love to love honor honor and cherish you and cherish you to be your faithful to be your faithful and loving husband and loving husband as God is my witness as God is my witness by the power vested in me I now pronounce you husband and wife you can kiss your right Chris. <clears throat> Let me start my story with like 26 years ago when I went to another wedding and it was a very, very happy couple. They were giddy during the entire time. And then shortly thereafter, we found out you can't leave those two alone. And along came Brandy. And Brandy was a happy little child. Her mother had this uh, jumper thing that you put in the uh, hang from the doorway and Brandy would jump up and down especially jump up and down when Grandma and I showed up at the house. And uh, it seems that uh, 25 years later, she's still jumping up and down when Grandma and I show up. So, these two are once again reminding me of Brandy's parents. They look very happy, smiling all the time. 
and uh, I'm sure they're going to have a great life together. Uh, Randy is very creative, and Chris seems financially responsible. So. <laughs>